Well guys, it is time to get back on the home remodel project and the next step as of now, I usually tend to think of a next step and then find a different next step. So the next step as of right now is to get some boards out of this stack here and uh, get them in the house or get them plain, get them edged and then get them in the house so they can acclimate. But we don't want just any boards out of this stack. We're looking for some very, very wide boards such as this one right here, that one right there and those very, very wide ones we're going with the theme oh that's a nice one right there we're going with the theme of like 12 inch wide boards for the walls in the living room It's a lot better if you organize them by size in the first place so you don't have to dig like this. Let's check out the hall here. There were a lot more boards, usable boards in that stack that I thought, which is gonna be great because I'm gonna need a bunch in there. You always need more than you actually think you need. But I've got 34 boards right here on the back of the truck. 25 of these I'll be able to edge and get 12 inch boards out of. Plus I've already got 10 on the sawmill over there that I can get 12 inch boards out of. So that gives me 35 boards that I can get uh, 12 inch boards out of. And I've got nine over there that I can get 11 inch boards out of. And I'll probably put those on the other wall towards the front of the house back there but anyway uh yeah that's a ton of coverage 35 boards at 12 inches a piece eight eight and a half feet long that's going to be a ton of coverage in the house and i hope that's i hope that's enough it rarely is but i'm hoping it's enough all right y'all it is the next day at this point yesterday i took a break for the afternoon and went up and helped my dad plant his food plots in anticipating for hunting season this year but here we are these are the boards that were not in the stack out there that we that you just saw me get boards out of these are some that i already had out and these are pretty nice these are 15 and a half inches wide so what i'll do is i'll cut these down to maybe like 13 on the sawmill my only concern with the sawmill is to get one straight edge so that i can flip it when i get it on the table saw and run that flat edge against the fence and that'll give me another flat edge on the other side then i'll have some nice square boards to put in the house <laughs> One thing that I've been forgetting to do here is just to take a pencil and make marks right here on this cut edge and that way I'm going to know which edge to put next to the rip fence on the table saw so that I don't do the wrong edge and get a wonky cut.
Well, guys, that ended up being 43 boards in this stack, and that was more than I thought. I guess I miscounted somewhere along the line, but that's going to that's going to come pretty close to finishing this living room here these boards a lot of them are going to be 12 inches wide a lot of them will be like 11 or so but that's going to come pretty close to finishing this living room because there's going to be big windows over on one side where obviously i won't put boards there's a doorway and right over here there's not a lot of places to put boards so uh it's going to be close on this i think I'm not going to edge these boards right now on the table saw and bring them all down to the same width because they're probably all at different moisture levels right now. And if I were to edge them now, they're going to dry and they're going to shrink at different rates. So I would end up with boards that weren't even in a couple of weeks after they've acclimated to the house. So I'll wait to do that. That's going to save me time. It's going to save me boards. It's going to save a lot. Um, also, I took a moisture reading on this top board here and I'll keep a watch keep a check on it over the next couple of weeks to see how it's doing it's at 15 percent right now which is pretty high i want that lower um and it's at 12 and 3 16 of an inch wide my prediction is it'll probably shrink down that 3 16 of an inch but i'll keep a check on it and we'll uh, we'll see what it does now that i realize that there were 43 boards there it makes more sense why it took so long to plane those boards it took a good two and a half hours to get those boards plain because you know you have to make multiple passes to get it down to the right thickness so long story short i'm out of time for today but tomorrow morning i want to show you all another project a very quick project that i want to include in this video we've got an eastern red cedar tree right here at the edge of the yard that just died I mean, it was kind of an unexplained thing but it died and it needs to go it's not particularly big we'll get an exact measurement on it when we put it on the mill but uh, yeah we'll work on that tomorrow morning all right guys it's time to get this tree down I didn't notice this yesterday but this red oak tree off to the left here is growing in that direction and I wanted to drop it that way but I really can't because it'll definitely get hung up in that tree so I'm going to try to put it down right here um, we'll just see what happens it's not very big so I mean if it doesn't go the way I want I can probably just push it push it with the tractor or something it's no big deal but let's see what we can do It's a pretty small tree, but it seems to have quite a bit of heartwood in there. So this will probably make some pretty decent boards.
All right, guys, so let's see what we're working with here. I ended up cutting two, two or three feet or so off of the top end up there because it was just too small. And if I had tried to mill the entire thing like that, one end of the boards would have been lots of weighing on it. It was just kind of pointless to try to mill that end section there. So what we're left with is a log that's just over nine feet long. And our width right here is about 11 at the widest point. It looks a little bit oblong. So it's 11 here, but of course this is kind of the stump. So it tapers down kind of fast. And down at the other end, I think it's something like eight. So it's, it's pretty small, but there are some nice boards in here. You can see there's a lot of heartwood in this log. So I don't know, let's open it up and see what we get. This is a fairly small log here, so if you notice, I'm really just trying to skim a little bit off. I'm not trying to take a lot at once, so I can get as much as I can possibly get out of it. I figured we would find some kind of interesting figure in this log, because there were a lot of limbs, because we were getting kind of up towards the top of the tree, because it was so small. But look at that, that's really cool looking. Alright y'all, let's see what we got here. Well I would say this was definitely not a waste of time. Not bad for such a little tree. Well guys, I'll have to say I'm pretty surprised. This is a beautiful, beautiful bunch of boards here and that tree was that tree was pretty small. So I'm I'm impressed with this one. This is this is nice. There are let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven boards here. This one's a little bit thin. 
but there are seven boards here probably a lot of weighing on a couple of them but they're six inches wide a little over nine feet long and just gorgeous i mean yeah I, I don't know what to say they're beautiful that was definitely not a waste of time i'm glad that i did that i don't know what i'm going to do with them i don't have any plans for them but yeah man that was there was a treasure in that little tree Guys, before we finish out this video, let's check on the food plots that we planted in the last one. It has been five days since this food plot went in. If you remember on the last video, we got this burned off and tilled under, fertilized and planted. And uh, man, let me tell you, it has just gone gangbusters ever since. Look at this. We got lots of wheat starting to pop up here. I mean, that's two, probably two and a half inches tall already. We got rain. I think the day after this stuff got put in so conditions have just been glorious for a really good growth on this stuff here's kind of a common problem that I just can't do anything about this was coal to packed out here Jeep to packed and basically what I did is ran the Jeep around pressed the seeds into the ground but still you see what happened here this is a low spot and once it rained a lot of the very small brassica seeds those are turnips and collards and stuff right there those very small brassica seeds ran into this low spot over here and ideally what you want is those brassicas kind of dispersed around very thinly out here and I do have that in places but uh, that's that's not ideal because those are not going to do a whole lot crowded together like that unfortunately I think this is a good spot y'all can kind of see what's going on here but really nice even uh, dispersion I guess you could say of uh, seeds and it's coming up very very nicely I'm kind of obsessive about these plots I tend to come out here sometimes twice a day just to look at it like I can see it grow during that amount of time or something but um, yeah I'm very happy with this so far uh, probably in four or six weeks or so once we start uh, once we get rain in the forecast or maybe while it is raining I'll come out and I'll top dress this with some triple tin but I'll try to keep y'all updated on the growth on these plots very excited so far but that's gonna do it for this one guys I really appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one